Here we go then. Wolfie versus Zord. We are on Stormkeep. And... Yeah. This is a Xenotic Duel League 2024 game. So, recent tournament that just finished. And... There's going to be a hell of a difference between this game and the previous game. I mean, the speed Wolfie's going at has drastically increased between those two games. And I would I would say that um, Graphite is actually a faster paced map than Stormkeep. So this should be a pretty good game. Both of these players are, I would say, are fairly evenly matched as things go. It's going to be... going to be interesting to see which way things go. Wolfie's really stacking up quite heavily here. Going to be waiting for that third. Second respawn of the Mega Health. Zord must have got the other one though. So probably got a decent stack here, Zord. Wolfie just not quite able to connect shots, but then gets those two in a row. Absolutely beautiful. Going to make an amazing escape there. Grab a little bit of armour. Pick himself back up to a decent old stack here. And now something that Dodger taught me about this map. The armour is all inside of the... Uh, inside of the shards. You know, you've got that mega armour that Zord's going to pick up. Wolfie just isn't quite going to get the circle, circle slide up the wall. Nice shot over the top. Zord goes into the lava. And that is the first frag. Wolfie taking an amazing first frag. Really well played. But yeah, there's only the mega armour and the shards. But the shards add up to almost more than uh, a 50 armour. And you can pick them up with and deny them for your opponent more importantly even if you've got the mega armor zord has the timing but it's wolfie this time that goes in the lava manages to get out of it though quite nicely send him some sh good shots zord's way but sticking it very low he's got to be careful here he knows that the mega health isn't too soon but that he's got a chance to get it super low. Zord probably doesn't have a clue how low Wolfie is. And I don't think Zord is quite healthy enough to really, really push the issue here. Low ammo issues as well for Wolfie. Not able to move around the map and keep up the ammo reservations as he would like to. Oh no, get stuck in the floor trying to pick up the Devastator to send a shot over to Zord. And Zord's going to get away. From that situation, no damage. Very nicely played here from Zord. Wolfie definitely feeling two instances of uh, not having the ammo. Beautiful play there. He's absolutely tricked Zord. Zord must be very low health moving away. Beautiful play to pull around there through the door and catch Zord off guard. Now Zord just going to be running away, trying to escape and get some more health. Wolfie's going to play out near the mega, art, uh, mega health. Nice jump up there from Wolfie. That's a beautiful movement through the map. Super quick flying around the map there. Now going to take a little bit more map control. A very low fragging game at the minute though. If one of these two can get a great bit of control and force out a few mistakes and a few spawn frags, we could definitely see this map blown wide open. But at the minute I wouldn't say there's too much in it between them. Wolfie grabs the health. Zord positioning well for the armour but getting bullied out. And goes down to a self frag using the uh, Crylink on the wall. Bouncing off of it and hitting himself. Oh, beautiful shooting there for Wolfie. An incredible secondary grenade usage. And there we see, look how much uh, armor you've just picked up there. 
playing carefully, trying to play the spam on the back of the teleporter. Yeah, we see there, so it went from two frags to in one minute to a f uh, five frag difference from two. And that's just from Wolfie being able to get some good spawn frags and... Um, yeah, some nice little frags at the start. Beautiful shot there from Wolfie. Nice play. Oh, and Zord somehow just about survives that. Gets back into the zero after the self frag earlier and finds the first bad spawn for a Wolfie, but he manages to get the fish slap out. Zord flipped the table in outrage. And now Wolfie is back in a good bit of control with good weapons. And. A very respectable stack here. Great spam here from Wolfie. But Zorg going to get a direct rocket going up. Gets a second. But gets hit by two direct grenades. Mega health should be coming up soon. Wolfie now knows where Zord is. And Zord's going to take the mega health. Wolfie trapped in a little bit of a back corner here. Not in the greatest of positions to play. It goes down again. Great rail there from Zord. Positioning right where Wolfie was going to come through. Now Wolfie contesting the armour. But not going to be able to take it. Or really do any damage in that situation with only Crylink. Great respawn from Zord here. 5-3 to three score line. 3 minutes left on the clock. And Zord in control. Pretty much everything. And now Wolfie's going to have to find a way to fight back. Because it's going to be kind of difficult to get into this game. Zord's got all the items. Wolfie doesn't really have the, uh, the knowledge of when they're coming up. But Zord seems to have missed this item. At least mistimed it slightly. Wolfie going to get perfectly in there. Hiding on top. Make Zord think he's run away. Doesn't work this time. Can't fool him twice. And a beautiful frag there from Zord. Wolfie just couldn't connect the shots onto him. Now Wolfie either needs to get this frag, or if he loses this frag, he's going to just have to slow down and get some item control before he's able to push hard. Oh, nice shot from Zord. Yeah, now Wolfie's going to need to play a little bit slower and play for the item control, because playing this... Playing this hard and fast is going to be really, really difficult. Good chance still that if he plays carefully, gets good stack, does damage like that, without taking any frags himself, if he goes into the last minute, he should be able to connect and get the frags. It's a beautiful play there. He's managing to get the, get the damage off while getting the armor. Zord going to be escaping. Wolfie doesn't want to chase it too hard here though. Doesn't want to take the frag. Gets stuck a little bit on the glitchy edge. It's unfortunate but now he's just got to get stacked up. Zord probably by this point is down to the same sort of stack we're looking at for Wolfie. Wolfie's going to take the mega health and Zord's going to sit around just a little bit. One minute left on the clock then. Two frags the difference. Certainly doable to pick this back up. But it's going to be tricky. Zord's going to go... Now he's heard that one minute remains. Zord's going to go into um, a much slower mode. And start... Start playing much more carefully. It's definitely pull back in a ball for the overtime. No reason we can't pull this one back for the overtime. But it's going to take a push. And I think 20 seconds to go. It's now or never. You've kind of just got to push it. Push in. See if you can get the frags. If you lose this fight, that's it. You're done anyway. Because if you don't win the fight, then 
you're done. Again, running out of ammo for the Devastator. It's so rare to see players run out of ammo. Wolfie is going to lose this one. 7-5 to five to Zord. Great game right at the end there. Control flicking from both sides. Wolfie unable to bring it back at the end, but fantastic fragging from Zord and controlling play. Thank you very much for watching. Join the Discord that might be in the description if I can be bothered to post it. Thank you very much for watching and send me demos. See ya.